that's right guys i've got the uh i don't know how new it is the r12 hd from rapala after this trip we're gonna be cleaning fish and we're gonna compare the two but i gotta tell you check this out real quick we're going out there and catching fish but look at the reciprocating of this guy here how quick that is and how slow that is interesting i've been using bubba for a long time but i'm excited about trying this guy out i don't know a lot gonna go on this episode man the schools are back i'm so totally excited about sharing it with you and that's what we're going out school fishing i'm gonna show it on the on the live scope the whole nine yards let's let's clean that thing real quick nope i don't have anything fancy on this i just use windex and i know the purists are going to say oh you can't do that you can't do that well i do it's convenient and easy and it's going to give you guys a great picture when we're out there let's do this now before we get started i do have to tie some jigs on i just tied on a brand new jig that's available on the website you guys check that out right there and then the chartreuse ones they just became available as well right here freaking hot this guy lit it up last episode on those schools that we ran into at the end so today's our only goal is, is the fish schools so i'm going to start with this guy right here then i'm going to go to the chartreuse one um, if need be but you guys check those out hair jigs are getting hot so yeah, this is gonna be an episode just of us fishing these schools. This happens typically in the winter time. It's still really warm, to be honest with you. Uh, I think we set a record high today in terms of temperature. So it's definitely throwing things off. But I was out here earlier in a guide trip and we absolutely smoked it on these, this uh, school of fish. So we're going for an afternoon fish right now. We're bringing those new hair jigs because they, oh, they just worked incredibly last time. And uh, I'm excited about that Rapala knife. So at the end of this episode, I'll give a review kind of as to how I feel about it. Never used it. Um, and I can just tell you that the reciprocating is pretty, it's pretty awesome. I was uh, impressed by how quick and it almost like vibrates, man. So I've always been a, a Bubba guy. I've been doing it Bubba's for the last, what, two, three years. And, um, but I, I saw uh, somebody flaying a fish and I was like impressed by how fast they went through it. And I was like, uh, maybe I need to check that out. And, you're gonna get my review, three pound fishing's review uh, at the end of this episode. Because we're gonna keep some fish, we've got that fish fry, and uh, we're gonna have a great time. Let's do it. There you go, guys. First school. One. Number two, that didn't take long. All right, guys, what we're doing, we're just, just coming out, following the wind, looking for the, the schools. And when we run into one, we're just gonna stay with them the entire time. So check a look, just have a look at here. We're really close. All I try to do is I try to focus in on that top line right there. That top line is what I'm most focused in on. And I try not to go through the, the middle of it because as soon as you spook them, that whole school will move. All right, there's our, there's our school right there. Casting into them. Should be a pretty good cast. There it is right there. Kind of a little bump, feeling it. There he comes. Got him. That's how easy it is, guys. Check this out. Bam.
Fish number one, schooling. It's going after the schools this, this, this episode on TikTok, so it should be a lot of fun. Let's do it. And there you go, guys. That's how you make a TikTok. And you just keep showing the, the catches and you make it efficient. And that's what I love about TikTok. And we do those every single day. All right, we just found another school. Now these are relatively small. Um, they are small. I should say they are small. They're just, they're, they're small. So they're not easy targets to hit, especially if they're moving. But this guy here is just gliding. So not very, not very aggressive. Um, should have a good throw there on that one. There it is coming down. And again, focus is really just about staying on top of them. And it's certainly not spooking them. So staying on top of them allows you to do that. Right here, you're just looking to see if you can get somebody to come out of it. Here he comes right there. Look at this guy, see? He's gonna hit his high. There he is, right up at the surface. Crazy. You could barely, oh, look what I just did, guys. See, I'm human. There you go. But we did get the fish in the boat. Right there. Perfect eater. So I kept looking, you know, in that location for those schools, and I, ran, I stopped seeing any schools whatsoever. So what I typically do in that situation is I'll go back to exactly where I saw my first school and I'll start there again and maybe go in a different direction or just stay in that area in general just to see. Sometimes I just cruise around just to have fun and to see if they're on every point or every area, but they definitely stopped. So I'm going back to where I started and we'll see what happens. Um, Christmas ideas, guys, that Rapala knife is gonna be definitely one of them, but also the Alisco fishing packs here, made up a ton of them. So you can get almost every color jig, uh, kind of a variety between 1 16th and 1 30 seconds. A great way to get a kid started in fishing. They're fantastic for that. So great stocking stuffers. And, uh, you know, by the time we see this video, it's definitely going to be uh, Black Friday. So uh, consider it. The Let's Go Fishing Packs. You got plastics, you got jigs. Uh, just a great option for, for anyone, really, for that matter. But, all right, we're here. Let's do this. All right. Now again, all I do is I start off by just sweeping. I'm just sweeping the area, looking for schools. All right, we just found a school. And the great thing about these crappie breaks is I can stop even when I'm with the wind right now, which is awesome. Before I would have to almost circle around to grab to them. So there it comes, coming into the pile absolutely an advantage to have crappie breaks right here i know it's not for everybody but for tournament anglers and for guys that want to catch a ton of fish look at this there are already oh and i missed that completely oh god <laughs> he hit that so late <laughs> Never felt the bite, played the screen, and got a good one. Woohoo! Right there, guys. Boom. Quick. Quick, quick, quick. Right there. School fish. Period. All right, guys, that's how it's done. We're going to be comparing these two right here, okay? This is the new uh, R12 HD 
and your traditional bubble knife. So let's just look at these knives real quick, okay? Size-wise, essentially the same thing, although this has the extended, the bigger battery right here. So that's about the same. Big difference in the width of these knives here, but I can tell you, I feel like the Rapala knives are thinner. These seem to be a little bit thicker, okay? Reciprocating on the Rapala, reciprocating on the Bubba, okay? So here's the deal. Bubba knife right here, we're gonna go down, right there, rip, okay? I'm gonna do the back side now with the Rapala. There you go. Okay, there are two plays. Let's do it again. Rapala. Bubba. Now here's what I feel about it. Without a doubt, the Rapala rips through it. Now I'm not used to Rapala, so I can't really do it as efficiently as I can with a Bubba, but I would say there's probably about a 30% difference in time. It's certainly in pressure that's required for me to push. So in other words, with a Rapala, I'm not pushing through, it's vibrating and doing it all, and it, I could tell it's a lot less painful on my wrist after doing you know 50 fish or whatever i'm doing during these guide trips so today definitely felt that there i definitely felt almost it works its way through the fish way quicker by itself so i'm gonna go thumbs up on the rapala the question is on customer service that's that's still to be determined they did ship this one here with one battery it did not work and it's difficult to find their phone number you leave a message so that's gonna be the tipping point. So I'll give you some feedback on that and I'll probably do another kind of follow up on the Rapala. But right now, I really do like it on filleting the fish. Um, very quick. And uh, so right now I'm gonna say a big thumbs up. Um, there should be a link in the description below to follow, to purchase one if you have an interest in one. Um, but yeah, I like it. Have a good one guys. Thanks for watching. And those schools were sweet.